Well, hello there, Konnichiwa, good morning to you all. So, this will be now my review for episode 4 of Inuto Asami wa Tsukayu or Dog and Scissors episode 4. And basically, this episode starts with or when the last one ended with. Um, Arumi, uh, or after Arumi being captured, captured in his old apartment by his younger sister Madoka, and basically, apparently, it appears that she can understand him, and the guy is quite happy and began asking questions about how are how is she how are his father, his mother, their family and so on but then he realizes that uh, she kinda assumes that he is his uh, older brother that died but actually sh uh, sh she does not understand him and during that process um, Natsuno was still pursuing that uh, strange looking person that appeared on the last episode then she loses him and she eventually goes to the apartment because Madoka was kind of trying to fed Aruto with uh, hot uh, curry hot chili curry and then she kind of left because she kind of says that she forgot the people or something like that and Natsuno kind of appeared and kind of freed Arumi uh, from the imprisonment and then uh, she does not believe uh, she kind of asks Arumi later at their apartment who is that girl and Arumi does explain that that girl was his younger sister and then I guess next day they will go to the street and continue their investigation uh, and they return to the apartments but uh, in the meantime uh, Madoka had already left and she is kind of in the street looking for the dog that she is assuming that is his older brother and then Natsuno and Arumi kind of goes uh, continue their investigation on the incidents of the the slasher and uh, then they met the editor of uh, uh, Natsuno uh, and she and they already had the clue that the slasher is connected with the works of Akiyama Shinobu but they do not understand the reason behind it uh, Arumi kind of speculates that could be someone that hates um, the works of Akiyama Shinobu and later on when they return um, home they are kind of talking and discussing and then Natsuno kind of comes to the conclusion that maybe Madoka could be the one behind the slasher incident and she kind of deserves about the reasons why she do it she does she could be doing that and kind of presents the conclusion that probably she hates Akiyama Shinobu because during the time Arumi was alive basically he only speak with her sister about books and books and Akiyama Shinobu and so on and so forth and uh, Natsuno kinda feels that probably she, after uh, Arumi died, she kinda, Madoka kinda turned her sadness and her hatred towards Akina Mishinobu because eventually uh, she considers her guilty or in a way a form of relief the sentiment of loss and then after they are talking Arumi kind of asks Natsuno to help him out uh, to stop Madoka if she is indeed the one that is behind the slasher incident 
And when Natsumo Uji, we see Madoka appearing and she kinda invades <laughs> the apartment. Uh, and uh, she captures um, Arumi. And basically that's really the, the episode or these are the main aspects of the, the, the this week episode. We have, like always, a lot of comedy. Uh, a lot of funny situations also we have uh, uh, a little character development uh, especially <coughs> on the part of Madoka and about what sh she is uh, what would be the reasons uh, behind her being behind the slasher incidents eventually and this is interesting because it, this is kind of a game of uh, detectives and investigation and so on so this is interesting because they kind of came to conclusions they they want they then they want to find evidences and found pro proofs and connect the dots and so on so this dynamic is one of the aspects that uh, i'm liking a lot of this series and uh, so far and well now i guess in the next episode there will be a fight between madoka and natsumo so i'm kind of curious how they will settle this app because uh, madoka clearly does not understand arumi and uh, Natsuno is the only one that understands him. So perhaps Arumi will be trying, will be talking with Natsuno and talk or tell her something that his sister could identify as the dog being his older brother. Eventually, I don't know. But uh, the episode was good. This is a light uh, series. It's uh, even if sometimes they kind of try to give a um, darker side, uh, but the, the light part of the series, the comedy, the, f the, the funny situations, the funny interactions. The, um, the situations between the characters, uh, the situation between Natsumo and Arumi, uh, it's always, it's all in the spirit of good comedy, so this was a, a, a good episode, I like it. Uh, so I now do wonder how this uh, conflict between Madoka and Natsumo will end, so I'm looking forward for next week and to see how this is solved out. So, this is my review for Inuto Asami Watsukai episode 4 or Dog and Scissors. Hope you enjoy, stay well, peace, see you soon.